Well, good day, Richard. Thanks for having us on the farm. Where shall we start? We probably should start with vehicles because they're the most critical risk to farmers these days. And it seems to be the older chaps having the problems, not the young ones all the time. So this is my quad bike, uh, my mode of transport around the farm year in, year out. Can you tell us what kind of stuff you do to make sure that you're going to be safe when you're on your quad bike? First, make sure the bike's well maintained. The second is if you're going to do a job on the farm, make sure it's the right vehicle for the right job. Uh, if it is the quad bike, put on the helmet and uh, think and stay alert at all times. Have you ever come across on one of these? Uh, not this one, but one uh, very similar on a different property, steeper terrain going a bit quick uh, and basically had to get off very quickly. You didn't get injured? No, didn't get injured, walked away luckily that time. So what would you have done differently? Uh, probably in hindsight, and hindsight's a great thing, speed and probably the route I took up the hill was uh, not the correct one. And you know, you learn by your mistakes and that's one mistake I'd never want to make again. You don't have a side-by-side -side on the farm, Richard? No, but I know a few chaps with side-by-sides and they swear by them. I think it's important to make the decision which is the best vehicle for you and your farm and the job you've got in hand. And uh, you know, the chaps with side-by-sides, they've got all the safety uh, provisions there, rollover cages, they've got safety belts, and the manufacturer also recommends wearing a helmet. Why would you wear a helmet on a side-by-side? -side? You have to be aware with the side-by-sides, you've got the rollover cage very close to your head, and if you have an accident or an incident, save yourself from bashing your head against one of those heavy steel bars. And I think it's something we should do. It doesn't matter whether it's a two-wheeler, a quad bike, or a side-by-side, -side, we should put the helmet on naturally. So Richard, this is a pretty new looking tractor. Do you want to tell us a bit about it? Yes, it's uh, probably not quite a year old. It's got all the modern features. It's got air conditioned cab, which is also a rollover mechanism, uh, fitted with the, all the safety gear, such as safety belts, etc. When's the right time to wear a safety belt? Every time, especially if uh, you're around steep terraces and if you were to roll a track like this, you'd be thrown around like a, uh, a ball in a washing machine. Richard, thanks for having us on the farm today, I really appreciate it. We've talked about a couple of your vehicles, the tractor and the quad bike. Are there any particular messages that you'd like to talk about? Yeah, I think it's important to select the right tool for the right job, in this case the right vehicle. Uh, once you've selected the vehicle you want to use for the job in hand, uh, make sure you concentrate on that job and do not get distracted by any other goings on on the farm.